Hey guys, Grill Sergeant here. If you have a rotisserie kit for your Weber kettle or gas grill, I'm gonna show you an easy modification that will let you run a wired temperature probe to your meat without it getting all twisted and tangled up. Let's start the show. Now I'm convinced just one use out of your rotisserie, you'll never go back. Just the flavors and the juices and basting that happens, it's a flavor that is really, really hard to get apart from actually having it just constantly spin. Now I will post a link and that will basically show you the last cook if you're interested on how to cook with a rotisserie. But pretty much my setup here is I have a water pan underneath that's gonna catch the drippings from the meat, whether it's gonna be a chicken or a roast. And then I'll have two charcoal baskets gets on the side, you basically want to have your flame indirect of whatever you're cooking on. Now the issue I found is if I were to basically, you know, say my meat is already on here. So as a demonstration purpose, if I probe my meat and then basically either through the top vent and then if I turn the rotisserie on, uh, you'll get about maybe 10 minutes in before this cord will basically start wrapping in on itself. So the solution I found was this. This is called a spit rod bushing and this will run you less than five bucks. Here's how it works. First, you're going to want to disassemble your spit. Then you're going to take your temperature probe and you're gonna run the cable through just like this. While the cable is inside this spit rod bushing, you're basically going to slide it down to the end near the handle and then basically pull this temperature probe line. Then what you're going to do is slide one on, like so. Clamp that down. Then you're going to stick whatever your meat is, again, chicken, roast, whatever you want to spin. You slide that in like that. Then once that's in, you're going to put this bit end into the motor. That bushing is going to basically slide or fit right into the groove. Now on this end, you basically want to find the port that you're going to be plugging into. And then you, if so, if it's on this side, you're going to want to go in a clockwise motion. If your plug-in port is on this side, you're going to want to do counterclockwise. So I'm going to do port one. So what I'm going to do is take this cable and then I'm just going to start wrapping it up. Nice tidy and then when you get to the end all you have to do is plug this bad boy into here taking a rubber band there we go now with this setup the cable runs through the bushing and the bushing basically protects the cable this temperature controller spins in sequence with this cable line so there's absolutely no twisting now i will put a link in the description for this spit rod bushing i'll drop two links to two different sizes um, and that all depends on the thickness of your spit the 5 uh, size does fit on the weber kettle one that i'm using um, but they do make a 3 8 which is slightly bigger. Um, so that is pretty much your call, you know, depending on the size of your spit. Well guys, that's it today. If you did find this video helpful, smash that like button. We are doing a new barbecue reveal at 1500 subs. So I want to show you this thing so bad, but right when we hit 1500 subs, you'll be able to see it and we'll rock out on it. All right guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Cheers. Pew.